Hey, good morning, everybody. It's early morning to LA late. It's Thursday morning. You've almost crushed the week. Uh, it's incredible great news. I'm here, you're here, but the YouTube outages <laughs> last night just sort of went, made everyone go crazy. Uh, if you did not see what happened, YouTube had an outage for about an hour. Uh, Mitch didn't pay the bill. <laughs> <laughs> Mitch didn't want to pay the bill. Uh, they're like, Mitch, we need stimulus to pay the YouTube electric bill. I'm just not, you know, uh, <laughs> go to Nancy's. Maybe she'll pay for it. Nancy uh, tried to, was asked by YouTube, would you pay the bill? And then Nancy said, sure. She paid the bill, and then sure enough, as soon as she put her blow dryer into the socket, then bam, the power went out again. Hey, good morning, everybody. It's early morning. It's LL. I'm so glad you're here with me. It's a fun day. It's a Thursday. You almost made it to the weekend. You got one more day. One more. You can cross this one last. Well, you got today as well. <laughs> I mean, what's what's today? We can forget about Thursday, sort of like how Congress forgets about July and August when they're talking about FBUC. Retroactive? We didn't know about the month of July. We'll just start FBUC in, all, in September. Uh, so you can forget about today and just, you know, think you're only one day away from the weekend. But some people say the weekend starts on Friday. Uh, yeah, I mean, for me, the weekend starts when Friday's over, not on Friday morning. Uh, if you have not subscribed, to this channel, please do go to the front of the channel, subscribe because boy, we're having a lot of fun. We're absolutely having a lot of fun. And yesterday was an example of why you have to subscribe. Um, immediately when the outage hit, I went on the community page and started sending out taxes. Hey, there's an outage, and they were like, Oh, thank you for explaining it. Of course, there was someone who emailed me. He's like, Did you know there's an outage? None of your videos are working. I'm like, Yeah, if you had subscribed, you would have already gotten the alert from me. Uh, also, like this video, it really helps. Um, you know, if you like the candles, then like a few times. And oh, the like button apparently was out yesterday as well for everyone, not just me. So yeah, this, this is one of those days at the, at the technical department. Uh, it's a great day. Oh, oh, did you notice over there? There's a super chat. There's a super chat, a live chat. Thank you for the people who super chatted last night. And the live chat is right now. If you're watching this video when it debuts at 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, you can live chat with me. Well, with whoever's there to chat with us or Lloyd or whoever. It's an incredible new enhanced feature that is only available on Early Mornings LA, the start of the day. And the video right after this at 6.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time has the same feature, so stay tuned for continuation of this broadcast at the bottom of the hour. We're going to have a lot of fun this morning, so I hope you're ready to go. The toast is toast and the butter is butter, and I'm here, you're here, and boy, uh, let's crush the morning. All right, let's get to the breaking news. The breaking news this morning is that there's eyes and ears all on EIDL grants, the remainder of the $10,000 grant. Yes, <laughs> oh my God, I feel like it's July all over again. Uh, hazard pay and the stock market, stim and oh, the stimulus check. Those big things will be covered in this video. Hazard pay EIDL, the remainder of the EIDL grant, and your stimulus check. And at the bottom of the hour, I'll be covering that SSI that everyone is talking about. It's just really exciting. $2,400 um, for SSI viewers. And I'll be going over um, what you should expect for the other items of the stimulus package, like hazard, pay, like FPUC. Really exciting, great news. So uh, the breaking news is that hazard pay is back on, baby. And uh, Purple Power Live, because the outage came on later last night, about 30 minutes later. And so there weren't as many people in the room normally. Um, and because of that, I want to make sure you're starting off the day with the information you need. So for hazard pay, the essential workers that are qualified Qualify for hazard pay are the following first responders, health care, groceries, restaurants, food production, transportation, warehouses, cleaning and maintenance, waste disposal, news media, government employees, education, laundry, elections, hazardous materials, disinfecting materials, disinfecting services, clinical research for COVID, mortuary services physical therapy, dentistry, U.S. Postal Services, and lodging facilities used for COVID. What's important to understand is that um, 
all those pandemic premium pay essential worker positions could get modified because people last night in the in the chat were saying, how about teachers? And I'm like, um, um, <laughs> there, I don't see them here. And of course, I don't think Joe Biden's going to allow teachers not to be exclude, included. He specifically ex mentioned teachers in his hazard pay language in the transition team papers for the weekend. So you'll see the, the, the digression from when Nancy had her pen to paper and included um, uh, blow dryers and uh, hairdressers and uh, weave extenders and uh, and colorists. <laughs> I'm, I'm joking. Uh, yes, now you're really disappointed. <laughs> All the colorists on the channel are like, oh, I do incredible color. I'm essential. Oh my God, I'm so essential. <laughs> you're like, oh, God darn dude. Um, but no, I would expect Joe to include teachers in there. So you see the disparity. Um, thirteen dollars an hour. Thirteen dollars an hour from January twenty seventh until sixty days after the end of the pandemic. One of the viewers in the super ch in the chat last night on Purple Power said January twenty seventh next year. No, January twenty seventh this year. <laughs> January twenty seventh back all the way to the end of the pandemic. Add sixty days. Uh, people are having a lot of things with next year lately in the comments. I'm hearing a lot of stuff about next year. Uh, if you did not hear the evening's LLA check video last night, I explained that for the SSI, it's not expect. It, 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 there's nothing to suggest it starts only in next year. Uh, and so a lot of people are doing this only in next year thing lately in their comments. Just... <clears throat> Well, I cut it out. <laughs> okay. Uh, $13 an hour, up to $10,000. Um, if you're Joe writing the bill, if it's Mitch, it's going to be less than $10,000. Uh, and if you made a, a lot of money last year, then you would get $5,000. This is all incredible great news. I'm just really excited for you. Let's go to the check. Um, let's go to that check. Uh, you know, yesterday on the Being a Mitch video in the midday, of course, you know, right when the power out of shit, I went over how Joe Biden has been a senator before he was a VP since age 30. He became one of the youngest senators of the country and was a senator since 1973, a junior senator. He has literally known and twisted all the hands that he needs to twist to get bills passed on the other side of the aisle as a Democrat. Mitch McConnell became a senator 10 years later. Yes, you may look at Mitch McConnell as an older figure when you compare Mitch and Joe, but Mitch McConnell became a senator in 1983 and now is on his seventh session, which would make him one of only six senators in U.S. history to, to serve that many years in Congress as a senator. And so what's important to understand is that they will get this stimulus check done for you. I've seen some comments where people said, Mitch and the $500 bill. Okay, first of all, the $500, $500 billion bill was like a gazillion weeks ago. We're gone. That was when he was dealing with Nancy. And you know why he was doing that. He was doing that bill to just to rev up Nancy to get her to go down. You know, that's sort of a negotiating standpoint. So that's not really what he believes. And everyone always talks to me about how there's multiple versions of Mitch. You're not the only one person who says that. Actually, the people who have negotiated with Mitch say there's multiple versions of Mitch. And so I don't want you to subscribe to this. Uh, Mitch never had stimulus checks and it said, hence you're never going to get a stimulus check. That's, you know, we don't do that on this channel. That's negativity. And that's saying the past is going to repeat in the future, which it's not. You had a delicious breakfast this yesterday. It was just wonderful. And this morning's breakfast was just horrible. You see how things don't repeat themselves in the future? So <laughs> there you go. Um, Joe's going to do multiple stimulus checks for you as long as warranted. That was his language over the weekend in the in the transition um, documents. Incredible. As many checks as warranted as long as you need until the pandemic goes away. And he says he'll keep on doing bills as needed. I got to tell you... Um, this is not a partisan comment. This is a comment about how government works. This is clearly a statement you would only hear from a former legislator. A legislator, a former senator who has been in the Senate for decades, where he says, I'm going to do the bill, and I'll do as many bills as I need until I get this, the thing friggin' solved. 
That's what a senate. That's how a senator talks. You know, anyone who is not a senator or congressman that sort of says, "Yeah, no, I'll just figure this out and have someone take care of it." It's just, you know, it's just, it's sort of past the buck. This is someone who literally likes to write laws and get them passed, and that's incredible, great news. <laughs> With that, let me turn to some law that's not being followed. Your EIDL grant. New renewed optimism. You could be getting the remainder of your EIDL grant. Oh, yes. There's a per certain person who's leaving in a few weeks. Um, Not that person. The other one, <laughs> Javita Carranza. Javita Carranza. I don't know what she's going to be doing. Uh, Dance with the Stars? <laughs> Dancing with the Scarves? <laughs> I just made that up. Dancing with the Scars is uh, coming to AAB ABC, the, the new hit show, you know, from the makers of of um, The mass Singer comes Dancing with the Scars, where you try to figure out who's the person dancing behind the scarf. It's just this the stuff that comes out of my mouth sometimes. It's just, oh, my God. So Javita Carranza is on the outs. She's leaving. And um, so is Kimberly Butler and everyone else that wants to mess around with the main during your $10,000 grant. So the question is, will you you get the remainder of $10,000 EIDL grant now that Javier Carranza is leaving? All eyes and ears on this body thinks, yes, this is my opinion. This is not fact. I believe you're going to get the remainder of $10,000 EIDL grant and everything you are owed from EIDL retroactively is going to get paid to you because of this. These letters from U.S. Senators to her in just, you know, it's not been a long time, late summer, early fall, that said, Javita, pay the remainder of the $10,000 grant. Javita, where's the, why are you stopping the ceiling on the EID loans? Pay this money. And she said, you know what? I'm just going to do what I want to do. I don't care if it violates the law. I'll just do whatever I want to do. And these people go and say, you're violating the law. Well, this is a letter from Chuck Schumer saying, Javita, you're violating the law. Um, Please follow the law. And she's like, you know, stuff it with a scarf. You know. Uh, he says, yet the SBA made the decision to cap grants at $1,000 per employee and thereby severely reducing the number of businesses that could receive the full $10,000 prescribed by Congress and limited how effective the grant could be. Translation. The law was passed. We were supposed to get ten thousand dollars. You didn't pay it. I mean, that's basically what he's saying. It's just a very, it's just not a very fluid se reading sentence. It's not a. Mitch writes really nice words, by the way. Mitch is a nice writes well. I'm not being partial. I'm just saying he just writes really nicely. Elizabeth Warren writes very nicely, also. Um, so that's um, there's a lot of renewed optimism that you could get the remainder of the ten thousand dollar grant. Prior to instituting the cap, the average loan for EIDL borrowers was over two hundred thousand dollars. If the loan requester remains consistent, the new hundred fifty thousand dollar cap means that the majority of businesses will turn to elsewhere to receive the assistance they need to get their businesses running. Well, that's actually not true. They did look elsewhere, and there was nothing else to find. Um, my viewers wanted those those increases never got them there was a cap chuck's exactly right and they couldn't get it it's things that you need and times like this that you need this ten thousand dollar eidl grant you need the remainder of uh the eidl loan and you need them for situations like what chuck may have been expecting which is this Chuck's letter was written several months ago, but overnight we learned that Andrew Cuomo was putting hotspots of New York on to a curfew. Um, those are restaurants and bars licensed by the State Liquor Authority who will be ordered to close at 10 p.m. starting Friday. Gyms will also be forced to close at that time, 10 p.m. I just don't understand that. I just, okay, uh, it's unsafe for the virus to be in a gym at 10 o'clock, but it's safe at 9 o'clock. I, do, I don't get that. Uh, but the bottom line is that lockdowns are coming. Lockdowns are coming. Um, and that curfews are coming. Whatever you call them, a curfew or a lockdown. I mean, just they all impede your ability to make work, and you need this relief. Coming up at 6.30, I'm going to be going over SSI and more about that, in, about check, and more about unemployment assistance. As you start the new morning, the Dow Jones and futures sh showing that the Dow was open approximately 104 points down. S&P will open about 14 points down, and NASDAQ will open about 52 points down. Um, NASDAQ had a nice run yesterday, as they believe it's, it's flight back into tech stocks, as after they took a big he a beating earlier this week when the vaccine was announced. But uh, the, the Dow 
now the bond market is flat, which is interesting. Yesterday it was up a little bit. Let me go over some incredible questions and comments from yesterday's video. Mike Cruz, I'm tired of hearing what everyone wants to do. Earl Truman, our government, it's to its people, just talk. Paul, um, Rosemary, push, push, push. Tiffany, good morning to all my Purple Pile family. All the way from Richmond, Texas. I think Tiffany was the one with the purple baby yesterday. I just found out last Monday I'll be grandmother. Oh yes, this, uh, this is the this is the same comment. Uh, my daughter, twenty two years old, is having a baby in July twenty one. We're gonna have a purple baby, the first baby to be born to the Purple Power family. I'll take you all on a journey. We sell a baby and the baby. I love that. Um, just incredible, incredible, great news. Catherine, uh, this is dragging on. Doma, I, st I want my stimulus. That's O from lockdown. Mitch, Jennifer, should be Christmas in July. Jean, a good holiday with a roof. Elisa, good morning, LA and the Purple Power family. Good morning, Lisa. If you have questions or comments in today's video, drop them in the comments below. I might feature them in tomorrow's recording. Uh, also, like this video. Meantime, subscribe, 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 and also like. Coming up at 6 30, the bottom of the hour, I'll be going over. Um, those incredible details, which are that SSI supplement, more about check, and then also be going over unemployment assistance, the extension of the benefits, all great news. As always, stay informed, stay smiling, and stay at that life for more.